Welcome to the Just Maintenance Investor Spotlight Series, where we talk about real life experiences in the world of real estate investing. Hi all, Janice Musselman here with Just Maintenance and Musselman Home Inspections. And I'm here with a special guest today who has been really helpful with uh, a recent project of ours with our side hustle business, Gem Home Solutions and our rental properties. Um, but Kelly is going to have some really important points I think that you would enjoy if you're a realtor, if you are a home investor, um, or if you're in the maintenance business of a partnership that works really well. So Kelly, why don't you tell everyone who you are and what your business is? Thank you, Janice. I'm Kelly DiTomaso. I am the president and owner of Elegant Transitions. It's a full service home staging and interior design business where I help homeowners who are selling, homeowners who are staging to live, just redesigning, and even investors who are looking to upgrade a property and prepare it for rentals. So Kelly, we met through one of our just maintenance projects. Yes, we did. Um, so Kelly was working on her home and needed a couple of things mm -hmm. um, fixed and, and repaired and enhanced in her home. So we met through the just maintenance business, mm -hmm. um, but got to talking and I think your business is really intriguing and extremely valuable for sellers on the market today. Um, so I wanted to talk about like, who's your typical clientele and how do they come to you? Mm, typically I get my clientele through realtors. I market my business to realtors because they're the touch point to a home buyer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get word of mouth homeowners who come to me, but often it's through the realtors who recognize an opportunity to enhance a home before they market it and put it on, on the listings. So for the home that needs to be enhanced, mm -hmm. what... Talk to me about the type of home. Um, is it any home or is there a particular type where maybe it's an estate sale or perhaps you know the owner has moved out? Um, when do you really wanna have your home staged? Oh goodness, that's a loaded question. There's yes. so many answers I could give in this particular question, but every home can be staged. It, it's kind of like yoga is for everybody. Mm -hmm. Every home can be staged no matter how immaculate it looks. Um, there's always an opportunity because staging is not decorating. Staging is marketing a home. It's mm -hmm. showing its best features and it's using decor to also enhance those features. So really every home, it can be staged. Mm -hmm. Plus, homeowners have a difficult time really seeing the home from a buyer's perspective mm -hmm. because they've lived in it. They're yep. comfortable in it. They're comfortable with a little crack in the wall or anything or all of their stuff because it's their stuff, mm -hmm. but they don't recognize their stuff doesn't relate to buyers. So in short, every home can be staged and really add value when it's presented on the market for future buyers. Yeah, no, I think that's an excellent point because like you said, you've been living in your home for so long. Um, sometimes it's hard for you to remove items because you have that attachment. Yes. So having an independent resource come into your home to say, look, Mm -hmm. um, this is the best fit for you because you want to get the maximum selling price for your home. Mm -hmm. um, so we can remove some of those personal belongings, enhance them with what people are really saying um, is the wow effect of today, right? Absolutely. There's yeah. always a wow factor I like to bring into every staged home. Love Something that. that draws them in, gives that emotional appeal, makes the buyer feel like I can see myself doing X, Y, Z in this space, mm -hmm. whether it's reading a book, having their morning coffee, entertaining their family. So how do you work with, you know, as you look at a home that needs to be staged, who is your market? Who are you marketing to? Is it a family? Is it a single person? Like, how do you identify how best to stage that home? Great question. And it really depends. The answer is it depends. It depends on the location. Is it rural? Is it coastal? Is it suburban? Mm -hmm. Is it in the city? What's the lifestyle of the potential buyer of that home? Mm -hmm. What are the schools like? Is it a, a populated school area? If so, we're also marketing for families who have children and therefore we have to have bedrooms staged. Even if it's a, a an older home and the couple you know, are empty nesters and they've converted their bedrooms into offices or sewing rooms, we've got to make them back to be bedrooms because it's a school district. Yep. So, so talk to me about the process. Um, you come in, so you're hired to do the staging. Mm -hmm. If you are a homeowner in the process of selling your home, what can you expect through the process 
do you have to move out or <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, not a, oh, that's a great question. The answer is no, you don't have to move out. It's not like a home reno where it's better to get you out. Uh -huh. um, really what you do is it starts with a, a phone call. Mm -hmm. I give uh, the homeowners a 15 minute to 30 minute phone conversation. That's always free. And I explain the process and I get to know them a little bit more and I get to get their comfort level on how they feel about moving and things like that. And then I explain my process, which then the next step is I come to their home and I do an in-home consultation. Often a realtor will pay for that service for mm -hmm. my two hours of time. Sometimes the homeowner will pay for that. Mm -hmm. But we literally walk through the whole home, not once, but twice. Mm -hmm. The first, I'm just gauging it from a flow and what the homeowner already has for occupied homes. And then I'm, I'm starting to assess different pieces that they might have in the house that I might use in other rooms. That's just kind of the first stage. Then as we go through the second walkthrough, we both have pads of paper and we're taking notes on fixes that need to happen, changes, furniture to move out of one room and put in another room, mm -hmm. furniture to discard, meaning get it ready to be moved mm -hmm. or donate it if, if you're not going to bring it to your new place with you. And then I, I really focus on prepacking. That's where the homeowners really have to start is all of the prepacking. Get rid of the stuff that you can live without between now and your move and start getting it off your premises, whether it's in your garage, in a storage unit, trash donations, or whatnot. Love it. Mm -hmm. And then if you need to, you'll also bring in your own furniture to yes. supplement? Yes, I will. Furniture, okay. furnishings, anything that will add better emotional appeal. Mm -hmm. and make the house look much more marketable. 95% of home buyers look online first. Mm -hmm. So you want those pictures to look top notch. You don't want them to see the 1960s sofa. Yes, yes. <laughs> you Even though you love it because it's your grandma. And it's you so <laughs> comfortable. <laughs> really, it's lived and it's loved. And yeah. yeah, you want it to look like something today's buyer would buy. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So the process is they meet with you, um, then you offer the recommendations. Mm -hmm. The homeowner would start to pack, start mm -hmm. to organize and, mm -hmm. and um, move out some of their things. Yes. And then you would supplement as needed. Mm -hmm. Then you bring the photographer in, you mm -hmm. get those final photos mm -hmm. and then reel or post online and then yes. you're ready for showings. Yes, and it's all in, in good coordination and collaboration with the realtor. Mm -hmm. I list, we have a lot of communication up front and then I go in and I speak to the homeowner. I speak to the realtor after the fact, here are the recommendations, are you in agreement? Is there anything else you want me to know or encourage them to do when I send off my final report to them? Okay. Some homeowners are DIYers. Mm -hmm. They take my report, I give them a full 20 page report and specific needs they need, mm -hmm. and they'll take care of all the rest themselves. Others want me to come in and do a half day staging with them mm -hmm. or let me do the full stage, whether I'm using their stuff or my stuff or a combination of both. I love that. So you're really flexible, Very. whatever the homeowner wants. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. So in terms of payment, because I know sometimes the question is, okay, do we pay for this up front? Does it in get included in the settlement costs? How does that work? So the consultation is often paid by the realtor, mm -hmm. but not always. But I do get that up front because mm -hmm. that's my time. For sure. It's my two hours of time. For the staging itself, I like, if I'm bringing stuff in, mm -hmm. I like for the workers to be paid. So mm -hmm. the movers and the stagers. But if there's rentals for the rental furniture and stuff, I can always work on the back end and mm -hmm. wait till settlement. Okay. In in a like hardship kind of a, yeah. a situation, I'm very happy to wait till settlement, you know, and that can all be discussed and agreed upon. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Yeah. So we were talking too about um, the value of staging. Mm -hmm. And is it possible to put a number on a home that hasn't been staged and the sale price versus a home that has been staged? What have you seen in the uh, market? I can give you very specific examples, but in general, you can guarantee that a home that is staged mm -hmm. versus its unstaged counterparts will sell for six to 25% more than the unstaged counterparts. Wow. And I actually have a couple of examples that I could share with you if you'd like to hear them. Yeah. So one of the properties I, I staged was a townhouse. Okay. There was a twin house, townhouse right next to it mm -hmm. and a third one on a corner, the end unit. All three were for sale at the same time. The one that I came in and staged, that, that homeowner happened to be my father. We moved him out into a retirement home and so it was completely vacant. We did some remodeling, fully staged it. It went for sale. It sold within the first week, I think 
40 grand above the original appraised value. Wow. And I think 20 grand or 25 more after. And mind you, I only put in $6,000 of home improvements. Mm -hmm. The house next door, which was a mirror image of that same house, sat on the market, took a price cut, and they even did some remodeling. I saw them ripping out carpets and painting, but mm -hmm. they didn't stage it. Mm -hmm. It was empty. And what that tells you is homeowners, they can see themselves in a house that's furnished, yep. but they can't use their imagination as much when there's no furniture in the house. I think this is so key. And you know, our businesses are really complementary with the maintenance business Absolutely. and the staging business. Um, because stagers often need maintenance help to get things done in the All home the or even help you stage. But to have a home that shows well and have that potential mm -hmm. buyer imagine themselves living in this home, mm -hmm. because how many times do you hear it from our realtors, you know, as they're walking clients around, they're like, oh, that pink color, oh, that light, oh, like just any little thing mm -hmm. can catch someone's eye and Absolutely. throw them off from imagining the full potential of that home. Mm -hmm. So I think for the couple of thousand of dollars, absolutely, it's like, why not do mm -hmm. that and maximize your sales price and maximize the efficiency of selling the home? Absolutely, um, it's worth it. Yeah. It's worth putting the investment in upfront, mm -hmm. you get it back. Yeah. It, we Stagers say staging costs no money. Even though there is an investment, mm -hmm. you get that money back. Absolutely. You get the money back from having home stager come in, from getting the maintenance done. I remember sending you pictures on one job and I kept thinking on that job what the buyer doesn't see is going to help sell this home. Yeah. And it was like a little transition strip from a garage yeah. to a laundry room that was broken. And I thought if they don't see the broken transition strip, strip they're going to realize how well ma maintained this home is. And exactly. other little things like that. So spending a couple thousand dollars to get those little fixes done helped the homeowner recognize the beauty of the house and not the maintenance that was needed. 100%. I think there is... Um this mental piece of going into a home. When you see a home well-maintained, it just helps you have um, better mindset, I think, mm -hmm. versus, well, if I'm seeing this home kind of look beat up, what else is going on with this home? Oh, yeah. You know, and then you're really looking to, do I do a home inspection? Right, a lot of people are waiving home inspections, but yeah. if you don't, you're kind of thinking, gosh, like what else is gonna go on here? Mm -hmm. um, so again, just presenting the home with the best foot forward and with your dad, mm -hmm. I think another great clientele for this that is so prime um, for, you know, whether you're moving to a retirement facility or downsizing, um, parents who are aging. Absolutely. Such a great opportunity who we know, like, they struggle mm -hmm. with clearing out of their home because a lot of them have been in their home for 30, 40, 50 years. Yes. And that attachment is big. Huge. So how do you, you know, even as their children, Mm -hmm. help them release yes. that from the home, move them out, and then bring the stager in mm -hmm. and then sell it um, and really maximize that value so they're set up for their mm -hmm. next phase of life. Oh my gosh, it, it is a psychological battle sometimes. Mm -hmm. and, and I think there's psychiatry in it and mm -hmm. helping, helping appreciate and recognize a homeowner's attachment to certain pieces. Yeah. And if they're still attached to them, then my next question to them becomes, where might this fit in your new place? Mm. Is there a place for it? Is there someone else you might give it to who can also enjoy it for years to come? And mm -hmm. I just help them to see the future rather than hoard a lot of stuff in a corner of their right. place and, and, and then it's not livable. Yeah. So yeah. it's really helping them to detach. Will you use it? It's in the basement right now. Mm -hmm. It's a great memory. Is there someone else that can use it? Could we even get things scanned and put on a disc and you know save yeah. those boxes of pictures? So yeah. yeah, it's even the conversation I have with my son of, how about we take a picture of your art project? Mm -hmm. Does it really need to stay? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Better storage. It's flat. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Aww. Well, I really appreciated what you did for us at our most recent mm. home. It was an investment property that we bought from Auction.com. We had planned to keep it for a while, but it's been one of our more challenging rentals because it only has two bedrooms mm -hmm. and the bedrooms are really tiny. Mm -hmm. So when John and I thought about listing it for sale, I said, I'm really worried that someone is not gonna be able to see the potential of this home mm -hmm. because the bedrooms are so small, because the home is so small. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when I'm like, I'm gonna reach out to Kelly and bring her in, and you did such an amazing job. I told you when I saw that home stage, I almost cried 
because I've never seen it like that. Mm -hmm. And it gave me a completely different feel and vibe of the house alone. Um, so I just wanted to briefly get your commentary on like what gave you the inspiration to decorate it that way. Um, and what's, what was your favorite room oh, of that oh house? I don't know. This room was so cute. Thank you. You yeah. know, it, it was one of my favorite staging jobs. It was a challenge, 850 square mm -hmm. feet. I call it a beautiful bungalow. Mm -hmm. because, and, I, and I even said when I first saw it, if I could afford to buy that, I would. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It is so beautiful. The inspiration came from listening to you. I always listen to my clients, doing a little bit of research. You shared with me the, I don't know if it was a creek or, or whatnot mm -hmm. out back, but people kayak there. Mm -hmm. And so this was a lifestyle community where they want to have adventure and fun. Yeah. So I was trying to appeal to a younger market using more modern furniture and things like that. And I also added a little bit of flair with some decor, oars and like a little it was so mirror. Cute. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to just bring that factor in yeah. that they could enjoy that kind of a lifestyle. I also wanted to maximize the 850 square feet. Mm -hmm. It was the way the previous occupants had it staged or lived. Yeah. It wasn't showing the best features. Yeah. And I we took some measurements and I just realized there is more space here than people realize and that's also the beauty of staging a vacant home. Mm -hmm. You can really show off the the available functions and features of a house by staging it right. So selected furnishings that could help us distinguish the living room and the dining room without separating them, mm -hmm. making it look a lot more open. And it really does. I think it yeah. feels big and huge. Yeah. Um, so I took the inspiration from you, the owner, and then the demographic, the, the potential buyer. Mm -hmm. Literally was thinking about, you told me who the buyer was, and that's exactly the kind of buyer I thought it would mm -hmm. be, a single, single person. Yeah could use the two bedrooms, one as an office, but I did stage both as bedrooms because in a two bedroom, you've got to show two bedrooms. Yeah, yeah. No, it just turned out beautiful. Yeah, but so. my favorite room to answer that question is the open concept living room, dining room, kitchen. I mean, the kitchen itself mm -hmm. is just so well done. You guys did such an amazing job. Thank you. You're welcome. And I just love that whole view that you get out the back. Oh, well, we appreciated you so much. This was really fun. I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks again, Kelly, for being here today. It was just a great conversation. I hope you all found a lot of value in it. I'm gonna give Kelly a chance to plug her business and um, just let you know how to contact her and how she can add value to whatever you may need her for. Thank you so much, Denise. I really appreciate this opportunity. So again, I'm Kelly DiTomaso, president and owner of Elegant Transitions, full service home staging and redesign company, where I do offer home staging services for vacant, occupied homes. I also offer redesign services for anyone that needs just a room refresh, mm -hmm. new homeowners that want one room, more rooms, the whole house designed. I do have an interior design certification as well. And I am also breaking into the short-term rental business. I just staged two homes in the Poconos and uh, just love doing the short-term rental mm -hmm. business. I can do the design and the staging for that. So thank you again for this opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thanks again and hope you all have a great day. Goodbye. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. If you are a longtime investor or maybe an investor who just got started or you're thinking about going into real estate investing, there's a couple ways that we can help. For one, Muscleman and Home Inspection is a business where we can offer a walkthrough through the property you're considering or even a home inspection. We can also help with maintenance. So once you secure that property, if you need help with a punch list of repairs or you just need ongoing maintenance, Just Maintenance would love to help you out. Again, Janice Musselman with Musselman Home Inspections and Just Maintenance. Hope you have a great day.